So good morning, 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 morning. Today I'm in my old school SNL shirt. Well, I say old school. Some of them they're they're new. Some of them are old school. But the the, the ones we used to have said SNL, and that's all they had. And everybody thought I was with Saturday Night Live. So I've dressed a little bit. With my blue glasses on today, and my lanyard because we're out selling stuff, and uh, a blue SNL shirt. And if y'all aren't branded and you don't have your SNL shirt nor your lanyard, let me know. We can try to take care of that, okay? Because it's important to be branded, even though sometimes it may look dorky in my blue Saturday Night Live shirt. But hey, at least people ask, hey, are you with Saturday Night Live? And I say, no, I'm with Security National Live. Are you protected? <laughs> so it's all about the conversation. And it's all about being unique. So here we are today in my SNL shirt, my Saturday Night Live, and we're going to be talking about how to present the product, how to present the product. So the last two weeks, we've been focused on the new loyalty plan, the new loyalty plan that's rolled out here for everybody, which is uh, relax the underwriting and allowed us to have one plan for the people that are 40 and above. Uh, relax the the heightened weight, relax the underwriting, put some people. We've got COPD standard now. We've got uh, neuropathy standard now. We've got insulin diabetics uh, up to 120 uh, units standard now. we got people that have had seizures less than two years uh, that are uh, standard now. So these are all first day coverages. I'm going to do a little housekeeping type. Yes, if you can hear me in the uh, for those of y'all that are chatting, let me know if you can hear me because I don't want to be talking to myself. So if somebody can chat yes or unmute and say yes, that would be great. Uh, so I'm waiting on my yeses. Yes. There. All right. Good. I've done this before and, and everybody's like, well, you talked about five minutes. We never heard you. So I'm like, that's OK, but <laughs> I want to make sure. So, again, I told several of you right now that you're seeing some things on this licensing process. It's a big deal for us. Uh, you can come in now and get licensed with us. Come take the test with me and we can get licensed in one day. So this is the 25,000 and below license, which will allow an agent to sell a policy up to $25,000 in face amount, up to $25,000, which most of our policies are only five or 10, 10 $15,000 anyways. So if you've got somebody, you know somebody, you wanna build somebody on your team, and you want to bring them in and help them and, and get them started in this career, uh, we can do it very quickly now. You don't have to wait for the big group one. They don't have to go to take the testing center. They can do it right in-house. And our first our first shot at this is, uh, is going to be on March the 3rd, which I know it's next Friday. I know it's very quick here in Georgetown, Texas, because that's where I live. And it's centrally located in Texas. So we're gonna, we've already got some people signing up to make the trip. I think it's well worth it for someone to come up. As you well know, if, you've already, if you're group one licensed, it takes a lot uh, to get licensed. It takes a lot to get your, your study material. And a lot of people do not, a lot of good agents never make it that far because they, they quit early and they give up. And uh, they, uh, they just say, you know, well, that's too much or I don't have time to study or it takes too long to get my license back. And this is a very quick process. From what I understand, the 25,000 below is only taking one or two days to get back. So all we have to do is if you know someone, put them in the system, get them through SNL, we'll get their fingerprints done. They can go get that done, come take the test and get trained in one day and off to the races the next day or the next week writing policies. It's that quick. So anyways, if you know anybody that's been waiting or a friend or family or someone you wanna bring into the business, and, and allow them to sell some policies, you know, two or three policies a month or make an extra two or 3,000 uh, or even more. So anyways, uh, we're one of the first, I think, in the industry to do this. And I'm super excited about this. And it's allowed, and in Texas, it's a big deal. So uh, that's what you're seeing. And that's what that means right now. So just to kind of clear the air here a little bit, for those of y'all that are brand new, y'all have seen it probably, or the people that are here, uh, finalexpenselife.us. FinalExpenseLife.us. I'm going to put it in the chat box, and that is what I want you to bookmark. And the reason is too is that I've included some things in here now. Um, of, of course, you have your weekly recorded trainings. If you've missed any trainings that have to do with the loyalty plan, 
jump in here, okay? This is the loyalty plan here, and jump in here. You need to know about it. It is our new plan that took a place of the simple security plan. It took the place of the simple security plan. This is the new loyalty plan. You need to watch it. If you're an agent that plans on writing, you need to watch it and watch some of the great things that, that Security National Live is allowing now. We want to be that company that protects 98% of the people that we even write. So we want to be that, and they've loosened up the underwriting, and we're super excited about that. Jump on my, my uh, Facebook page here. Uh, I'm sorry, my YouTube channel here. I'm going to copy this and also put it down here so you can copy it too and go there if you would like to and learn a little bit more. So that is the SNL training. Also on this tool section, I have updated right here uh, the new prescription guide. There's a brand new prescription guide and it's really good, y'all. There's a new loyalty plan, height and weight. It's really good. And again, we have our four policies here, which is the loyalty the security care, uh, the MIB, and the eye care. One thing you're going to see coming down the pipeline that I'm really excited about in this year is the security care is going to be changing to the guardian. And one big deal on this is that right now, if you see, maybe you know this or not, but our loyalty plan now goes up to $50,000. That's a big deal. Uh, so people have been asking for a larger face amount. And for those people that are up to 75 years old, it will go to $50,000. The cool part about this in the future on this one, it's going to go to 25,000 also. So this is going to allow you to write more people, open the door up to larger policies a little bit and give you more flexibility. OK, and give you more flexibility. So we're trying to help you out, increasing the opportunities for the policy and more face amount. So go in there and play around again. If you have not been here, you need to. This is really probably the most important thing you can see from us or for me, is this final expense, life.us. The other one that is for brand new people and people that are coming back into the business or people that have been on the sideline maybe for a while, you just need a refresher. This is kind of what I would see as the seven steps. And I need to update these two because of the loyalty plan. These are like the seven steps to being successful. How do you sell policies? How do you complete the application? Some, some underwriting questions here and working your referrals is what we're going to be talking about a little bit today. I want to give you a tool to work your referrals, but this is final training. So I challenge you to, to really look at these three website sites right here. Okay. So, and, and take a look at these. I'm going to do this right here. Uh, so in there, so Lou uh, in general with the higher policies, well, the premiums in general, well, the higher face amounts, yeah, premiums will be because I mean, it's, the premium will be higher on a fifty thousand than it will be at twenty five thousand, of course, obviously. So that that maybe answers that question. Uh, there is a section of our modified business that, uh, and I'm square. I've just never been anything but honest. Uh, there's a there is a uh, so I'm gonna do. Let me see. Live treasure has been enabled. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Uh, all right, closed caption. See if I got a closed captioning on right now. Uh, I'm going to see if I can do that. Captions. Let's see if I can transfer this to Spanish. That's pretty cool if I could. I don't know. Uh, who can see this transcript, everybody? All right. Anyway, so there is, there is also in our modified category, there is going to be a little bit of a rate increase. Everybody knows that we have had really, really low modified premiums in the past, and we still are going to have low premiums in the past. And so there is a little bit of rate increase in there. Uh, you probably won't even see it or notice it that much. Um, so that's the truth on that one. Preferred and standard, not much at all. Uh, so this is the loyalty plan. And um, again, we, just like any other company, have gone through COVID. Mortality rates have all been up for everybody. Across the board, every company's had mortality. And if the if any company says they have not had any rate changes, they're probably gonna going to because you have to cover that expense when mortality goes up. And thank goodness we have a company that's willing to see that because a lot of companies, if they wait too late, they're out of business because they keep they pay claims and they're out of business. And you're gonna see other carriers and other companies start getting, you know, kind of out of the business because they're getting on the tail end of these COVID claims, which were up and for everybody all the way across the board. It's just a part of being in America. And if you go to the store, 
gas is more expensive, food's more, bread's more, milk more, whatever. So again, good question there. And I'm always honest about that, but you shouldn't be able, you shouldn't see any difference really with your people. Uh, most of the time, final expense is not about rate anyways. It can be, I got it, but uh, you won't see it. So good question. Keep typing in questions if you have any. But again, on finaltraining.us, final training, you have that link there. So if you're brand new or you know someone that's brand new, then jump in to watch some videos. You know, here's the thing. I'm going to be real square with you. This business is your business. This is you building your business. This isn't Keelan. This is not SNL. You're an independent contractor, and uh, I am here to help you out any way I can, for sure. I'm here. You know, the, the company is providing the policies. They're providing you the product. They don't charge you anything for that. They don't charge you for your appointment. They set up your commissions. They send you checks. They give you tools and everything for free. Uh, I train you. I'm paid by the company to train you and work with you and give you anything you need. Mainly, I just want to be that that liaison. So I want to be that person, that liaison that just, uh, where you can come to me and go, hey, I need this. Can you help me out? So I want to be your helper. So if you're driving the car, uh, I'm going to be in the back uh, or in the side seat. The company's going to be in the back of the side seat. You're still going to drive that car. You're still going to be able to go to those people's houses. I just want to give you the tools I want to give you the tools to do that. Okay. So that's what I'm trying to do. That's why right here, I try to give you these tools so that you can be successful working on your car, building that cake, uh, working in the, in the yard, whatever you do, you need tools. It's frustrating when you can't find them. And then you end up going to buy a screwdriver because you can't find your screwdrivers. And two weeks later, you find that pile of 15 screwdrivers that you had in that car that you couldn't find, but you need it then. But you need it then because a sense of urgency to get that job done is right then. So I'm going to make it my goal to be Johnny on the spot with my phone so that whenever y'all text, y'all call, y'all have a problem, concern, or an issue, then we can get that knocked out real quickly. Okay? So here we go. So today I wanted you just to do a little refresher. And I know everybody probably has done this or seen this, but I kind of just want to go back because I try to do this every so often to where I want you to understand, or I want you to be able to have the ability to know kind of what to say to clients. You know, I know we all get out of a realm and I know people on the line here, I see, I'm not gonna call anybody out, but I know there's people on the line here that had, didn't write much in 2022. I know there's some of y'all that haven't written much at all lately or, or some, and then I know there's some that have, and that's okay, that's okay. Because I love it when you jump back in the ball game. It's kind of like a football team. You say, hey, coach, or whatever, put me in. I'm ready to protect. Because we all have, it's this, all this business is, is about timing. It's all about timing. Okay. It's all about when you're ready. It's all about when the client's ready. And it's all about those things coming all together as one. And I really appreciate you, even though you may have been out for a while, I really appreciate you jumping back in here. And I'll always love you for doing that. So, we're always going to protect families and let's make 2023 that year that we can look back in December of 2023 and you and I can talk on the phone and say, how many people were protected this year? How many people did we get to? Okay. So that's, what's most important, important to me and important to you and important to other families, because I don't want to be in the back of that, the, the back pew of that funeral home and the family going, did y'all write a policy? I know y'all talked about it. Did y'all ever get that done? And you have to say no, or I'm, I, let's not talk about it, or I never did ask him, or I was too busy doing something else. Make it that hug neck situation where you go, come here. Your mom, dad had a policy. We got them protected. Your kids, your husband, your wife, okay? Because you never know when that day is going to come. And none of us do. You know, age 77 is going to creep up on all of us. And that is the halfway point of our life if we make it that far. Because the average age of death in America is 77. Half of us on the on the call here are going to die before 77. That's just true. That's just, those are just numbers. I hate to be the grim reaper, but those are just numbers. And the other half are going to live the other half. So who is it going to be? I have no idea. I can look at all these 20 names on the, on the screen right here, and I have no idea, and we have no idea. But these the day is going to come. So we have to be ready for that, and we have to be prepared to have that policy. So enough of my preaching. So sorry, I get off on a little tangent. If you can't tell, I'm pretty... I'm pretty passionate about what I do. I'm pretty passionate about protecting families because I see what it does for them. 
I've been in the insurance business for 23 years now. Finally got grandfathered in on all my uh, all my uh, continuing education. I never thought I would. I didn't even think that was a real thing, but it is. You can get grandfathered in for continuing education after 20 in Texas. Um, and also, not to, not to beat our drum also, but that 25000 and below license that you can give your people, your loved ones, or somebody you want to work with, you, uh, build your team, that's only available in Texas. You're lucky. I mean, there's some, maybe a few people on the line here that are not from Texas, but in Texas, that, that is lucky. So you can have access to that. And, uh, you know, uh, and that's, that's very important. So, so here we go. I wanted to show you and hit a couple of high notes here. Won't keep you long today because no, it's beautiful. I know everybody wants to go out and door knock and see people and everybody wants to make 20 calls. Again, if you haven't heard my, my meetings in a while, I'm big on five. My number is five. What is five? Five is, and you can watch the video. It's on my YouTube. I want you to, I want you to do something for me in 2023. If you do nothing else, try to do this. Just try, please. Try to contact five people a day, five new, just five. It's very easy. There's, you're awake for probably, what, seven, probably uh, 14, 15, 16 hours a day. Try to contact five. When you do contact those five, make it a simple call. It can be friend, family, brand new, or it could be in the streets. It can be on the roads. It can be a butcher. It can be H-E-B. Say, hey, listen, you know, while you're branded, I'm family protector and I protect families. How are you doing? How was 2022? Are you taken care of? Have we gotten this taken care of yet? And, and don't look for the yeses. Don't look for, oh, I'm ready. Look for when can we. When you start looking for future dates, when you start writing this down, when you start keeping a tablet or a notepad of you saw, I saw Vicki today, but she told me no. And she said to check back with her in six months. And I write, on my calendar, I write 8-23-2023, okay, which is, I believe that's uh, August. That gives me hope because Vicki didn't tell me no. She just said no right now. And if you do that, you're going to run across some yeses now. You're going to run across some. But here's the thing. You're not going to really run across too many no's altogether. You're just going to run across no, not right now. And that's okay. But if you build your pipeline out and you're seeing five a day or 25 a week or even on the weekend, you have 30 people that you're putting into your pipeline to go see in the future. 25 people a week times four weeks a month, that's 100. That is 100. If you do that for four or five months, you're going to sell some policies naturally because you release that pressure of going, um, you want to buy life insurance? You really know. You have life insurance. Agents do this. Agents do this. You have life insurance, don't you? And they're already shaking their head. No, the client's going to go, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm taken care of because they just naturally will do that. But if you go, hey, hey, Kendrick, hey, Veronica, hey, I know it may not be a good time now, but I can't, I have to do my job and I have to let you know I care about you. And are you, is your family taken care of? You know, we've been through all the COVID now. We've had the big scares and who knows what we have next. I mean, missiles and the Russian and the Ukraine, who knows, but are you taken care of? I'm not going to go another day without saying this. I can take care of you. And I have I got the company now. I've got the protection. I've got everything you need to take care of this, this, this thing that's going to happen to you. And they should be quiet. And they'll say, no, not right now, but when can I? That's fine. I call you in a month, two, three months. Go. Okay, so five people a day and build pipelines. I got off of my tangent again, but I think that we can all learn to do that better, all of us. And, and move forward to where, and you know what's going to happen? You're going to be, oh, you're going to be surprised because three months from now, you're going to come back to me and go, oh my gosh, I woke up and it was June, it was August. I've, already, I've got 35 people to call. And you go, Andy, Andy, hey, hey, Andy, hey, you told me no. Lou, you told me no. Hey, Seuss, you told me no, and I'm back. You're not going to tell me no twice. Because it takes three or four or five times to talk to people before they're ready. They're going to experience life events between now and then. They're going to remember you. But you got to be persistent. Okay, so five. So let's look here real quick. And, you know, and not real quick, but let's look here. I want to go through the presentation to make sure you understand our presentation piece and how it relates. And again, you can get it on the agent portal. One thing I need all of y'all to do, homework. Here's your homework. Go order new loyalty 
applications. Go order new or loyalty applications. Go right here into your order supplies. Okay. And you can type in your state, but get in here. You see this SNL loyalty plan and loyalty plan in Spanish. Click right there and get you some loyalty plans today, right now, in a minute when you get off the line here. Then yeah, you, that's the new application you need to have, the loyalty application. Okay, so it's, it's good. And what you're going to see on there is some, some openings in the standard section. Watch my video on loyalty plan and order those. It's going to be a breath of fresh air here. Okay, also brochures. I'm going to be explaining today the final expense brochure here. Okay, order some of those. If you want it in Spanish, get it in Spanish. So you've got final expense brochure, the funeral planning fact sheet, okay? Funeral planning fact sheet, final expense brochure, and loyalty apps. Those three things, okay? Let it be known that I told you to get those three things or print them off. If you prefer to print it off, that's fine too, or print them off, okay? So that's what we're going to be talking about today is this presentation piece. You can also find it, one of them here on my final expense life. And you can go here into how to sell a policy in person, how to sell a policy over the phone. Okay, we've been through that. We're going to go through that again in the next couple of weeks. But for right now, I want to just make sure that you can see the presentation piece here. I want to make sure you can see this. I'm going to my chat button. I'm looking for someone to say they can see my screen. Can somebody say they see my screen? And can they see my final expense presentation when I click over there? Awesome, Lou, thank you so much. So the presentation piece, and I'm not gonna go through it in a long form today. I'm gonna go through it in short form, okay? Because I've done it and I keep doing it and there's videos on it and I don't wanna spend all my time being redundant, even though I do believe in coming back and being a little elementary every once in a while. Okay, so I'm gonna stop my video here to save some streaming time uh, and jump back over here. So the final expense plan here, this is the presentation piece that I want you to try to follow. I think it's very mm -hmm. important that you always have a guide, uh, even if you're on the phone with someone, even if you're, especially if you're out with someone, you always need a guide and something to fall back on, something to keep you focused, keep you on track, and keep you online. And the final expense plan in English and Spanish, either one, this is the presentation piece. The company has spent a lot of money putting this out there. It's free to you. You can use it whenever you want to. Order your 15 or 20 of them, take them out. And there's one big reason to do this is this historical record page, I don't care if you sell something or not to someone, you need people to have this. What are we trying to do here? You have to create value. You have to create trust. Okay, and I'm going to say this and look at you when I say this. Value and trust is what this business is about. It's not just about premium. It's not just about money, because if you don't build that value and trust, they're going to cancel their policy. OK, and they're going to cancel their policy. And then you're going to be right there with a the charge back and you go, why did why they cancel it? Well, you really never told them or gave them any value. You just sold them something. You just sold them a price. And there's no. There's no heartfelt. There's no, you didn't talk about their kids. You didn't talk about their family. You didn't say, oh yeah, I'm from that town too. There's no connection. There is no connection when that happens. So this final expense presentation gives you the opportunity to create and establish that loyalty, create that trust, find a friend, meet someone new. This is a guide for you to sit there and at the end of it, hug their neck. Before you know it, you're going to be talking to them. You're going to be friends. You're going to be looking at pictures on the wall. You're going to be, oh, where are you from? How's the weather today? Oh, I know that football team. These are the things you look for to connect, for you to connect to the client so that when that time comes, they feel like I'm never getting rid of this policy. I don't care because Scott sold it to me and Scott gave it to me. And I love Scott. I love Gilbert. I love RC. That's my man. Those are my people. That's my protector. And then they tell someone else, they tell someone else, and before you know it, the trees are talking about you, okay? And you're the guy in the blue shirt that showed up, the Saturday Night Live guy, but you're also the one that left where they go, thank you. 
for protecting me. I trust you. Seniors are getting hit all over the place right now. You got to know that by the phones, by the, by, you know, advertising, by mail. Um, and they're getting hit and they need someone to trust. They know they need it. They know they're getting that age. You know, the baby boomers are all there now. It's the Gen X's are next us. Oh, man. But they're there and we have to protect them because we're going to be the ones paying for those things. And from now till the next 15 or 20 years, that is so true. OK, but let's give them what was that song? Uh, let's give them something to talk about. I think Bonnie Raider or whatever. I can't believe I don't know where that came from, but let's give them something to talk about. Let's give them something to, to work with. Give them that peace of mind. Even if they tell you no, you say, I don't care. I love you anyways. I love you anyways. If you tell me no again, that's OK. I still love you. OK, you're still you're still my friend. I'm still going to give you something. I'm still going to give you that peace of mind because here's the thing. I had one of my agents tell me one time before two well, I had two things. I had one agent tell me before that, hey, it's not about it. Well, it kind of is. When, when someone passes away and and um, you're there and you're the son or you're the spouse or whatever, you're going to remember them for what they've done for you. You're going to remember all the good things. Of course, that's natural. We really, you know, we're going to reminisce. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But if they if there's nothing there, if there's no protection, they're also going to remember you for the last thing you didn't do. They're also going to remember you for the last thing you didn't do, uh, which is also the things that they'll remember in their head. Like, yeah, he did all that, but get the wallet out, get the checkbook out. He didn't do this. He didn't think he didn't think enough of, enough of us to protect us. He didn't think about that. He he drank it all away or spent it all away, or I don't know what he did with his money, but he didn't do this. He left it up to me. I don't know that sounds kind of tacky because we don't want to think about that with our family, but it is true. It is true. It is all of our responsibilities and their responsibility to take care of that for our families. And I truly believe that, you know, and I know there are people and there's cultures and there's situations that are raised up. Well, now nah, my kids are going to take care of it. No, nah, my kids, oh, my kids have to do this. They should, that's their fault. That's their problem. They put me in a pine box in the back, but we got to change that mental thought process to like, that's okay. Yes, you do deserve your kids to take care of you. You've got to done a great job, dad, but I'm the one having to cut the check. So if you don't want to write a policy, you don't think enough of me to protect this family or your, your wife or mother or whatever, then at least let me write a policy for you. At least let me protect my pocketbook. At least let me do that for you, okay? Or for myself or for my family, because I believe in this. I'm going to change the thought process in this family a little bit. I fall off on a tangent again. But this gives you the chance to sit with someone and talk about that. Let's jump right in here. I'm going to get off. I'm going to get I'm fired up today. So let's get right in here, okay? About us. This gives, this gives you a chance to go, hey, we are Security National Life right here. We are SNL. And, uh, We've been around since 1965. We're not going anywhere. We're a publicly traded company uh, on the NASDAQ, and we've got several divisions. We are the final expense division, and you need to know that we're a billion and a half dollar company. We own funeral homes. We own mortuaries. We, we know the, the business. We're going to pay your claim within 36 hours, uh, you know, a, a, to, to your beneficiary. OK, it's going to be there. The claim is going to be there. Money's going to be there for the kids, for the family. We're going to do that because we know how important it is. We even fund funerals. We have a company. We have a, a portion of our company called Fast Funding, and we fund we fund funerals when other companies aren't paying their claim fast enough. So we'll go in there and say, no, we've got you, you know, Dr. Murray. We've got you, Alyssa. We've got you, Nadira. We've got you. We'll take care of it. And then when you get your claim back in from the other company, you can pay us back. So we know how important it is. Nobody wants mom or dad to sit in the refrigerator. That sounds bad, but it is a refrigerator. They're just... They're just chilling out. But anyways, uh, so but nobody wants that to happen, even though that is the reality. That is reality. So we even know how fast it is. So that's why it's important here. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, listen, we know already also that the funeral is going to cost between eight to ten thousand dollars. Could be even higher. If you pull it up, things are going up. Costs are going up on everything. And uh, these funerals are costing a little bit more and more and more and more. You know, if you've got a client that you know, that basically um, has a $5,000 policy. We can add more. You can add more. You can go all the way up to many policies as you want, up to $50,000 in those age groups. 
Okay, so that's very important. We know it's eight to ten thousand dollars, and I'll show you why that's important in a minute. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, we also know that Social Security is not going to pay for funerals. They don't pay for funerals. They don't fund this stuff. Uh, they will pay a two hundred fifty-five to a qualified dependent, and that is it. Okay, so that's not what we count on to pay for funerals and pay for final expenses. The veterans, you can talk to the people and go, are you a veteran? And y'all can have that conversation. You know, if you're a veteran or your family, goes, oh yeah, that's cool. What, what branch did you serve in? How long did you serve? Again, what we're trying to find are talking points, trying to get a comfortable with the client, trying to work with the client, trying to have things that you can come and come because the more you can talk about and the more you can relate to them, closer it's gonna be and the more they're gonna trust you and that's when at the very end, they're going to go, you know what? You're right, Cecilia. Let's take care of this. Let's make sure this happens because I, I, you are right. We need, we've been, we've been putting this off for too long. It's time now. Okay. It's time to take care of this. Savings, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, you know, and predominantly y'all know we deal in the middle of low income family ranges. Most everybody that we ever talked to has, doesn't have 10 or 15, $20,000 in savings per person stacked up in a bank somewhere ready to pay this. They just don't. And even if they did, I'd say, well, don't you want to save that for your family, like in cash and money to give them to hand down to have a legacy? Or you just is it just there to spend, you know? So would you rather pay a premium, a monthly premium and and uh, take care of that? OK. And sometimes some people might just have a bunch of money and they might just have a bunch of money stacked away and they just might be throwing this objection to you like, no, we got two hundred thousand dollars in the bank. We don't need another expense. We don't want this. Then that's fine. Shake their hand and go, you know what? Y'all are in good shape. But I do want clients like that. Can you think of anybody else that I might could talk to that doesn't have two hundred thousand dollars in the bank? Can you think of anybody else that I might could visit with that might see value in this? Uh, because I, I think y'all are wonderful people, and I want clients just like you. I want people just like you. OK, that's who I want to protect because I'm building a business. I'm a business owner. You know, I'm building a business and this is what I do. It's how I feed my family. So if you've got it taken care of, fine. But let's talk about who doesn't. OK, and then loved ones. Nobody, Bill, you, you ask any person on Earth. Well, there might be a few ones. But if you ask it like this, Mr. And Mrs. Jones, do you really want to leave all this burden and the money and the and the financial expense to your kids? Like, really? You know, if you're able to look down or up or wherever you go one day and 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 talk to them again, would you be would you feel good if they go, hey, how come you didn't leave us? You know, how come we had to pay for all this? What where did, did you have a policy? Okay, nobody wants to do that. I know they don't. And then I just simply talk to the client. I say, will you read this right here? You need the client. You need the potential client to read this out loud. Okay, so take notes. They need to read these two out loud. You ask Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, would one of y'all read that out loud? And especially if you're with them. If you're not with them, you can't. You can't really have them read it out loud. Um, but you also need to, if you're doing things over the phone, you also need to be prepared to tell them at the end of your conversation, I'm going to mail you this awesome uh, planner here for you to use, okay? And when you get that policy back, you're going to have all this together, and it's all going to be in one spot. That's a favorite saying of mine. I say, when you get the policy back, you're going to hear me say it over and over in this presentation piece because I want to already pre-sell the policy. So I want it in their brain that they're going to buy. They're, they're, they're locked the door. They're coming. I'm not, I'm not leaving here until you buy. No, but pre-sell it and go, when you get the policy back, because that makes them think that you're confident that they're going to, and then they start feeling confidence, and then they start saying, oh, yeah, yeah. We're, you already said we're going to, so let's go ahead and sign. Okay, but that's your confidence level that they need it. So, you, Mr. And Mrs. Jones, you really want to leave behind loving memories, heirlooms, and properties. You don't, and look at him and say it staunchly. You don't want to leave behind funeral expenses, medical debt, and financial debt. Okay, you really don't want to. Do you? Ask him. They're gonna know. No, you know we're not. No, we don't. Then I say, okay, perfect. We're going to go to the next page. And this is where I want y'all to, to really focus right here and get good at. This is where you're going to build trust and value right on this page right here. And the way I do it, you can do it however you want to. 
Uh, if you're in person, I if there's a husband or wife or whatever, or if it's just one person, um, I'll ask them a couple different ways. But if it's a husband or wife, I'll ask the husband, you know, hey, can you? I'm going to ask you a few questions, and I want you, you know, I want you, I want you to tell me this with regards to your wife. Okay, I can answer these questions. Okay, what is her name? What is her address? And we kind of giggle a little bit. You know, you got to have a little fun. You got to have a little fun in this business. You got to have giggle, laugh with them, have fun. You try to get the man in trouble a little bit, you know, uh, appreciate their relationship, their marriage. Well, we've been married for 52 years. Okay. Well, uh, what, what, where was her father born? Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't really remember. See, he doesn't know everything. Uh, what's your, what? <laughs> I just play with them a little bit, but this is what's important. I go through here and I, and I ask him the information about her or her about him. We talk about, because a lot of people, you're going to be surprised. A lot of people don't know their spouses or their significant other social. They're going to play around and some of them might forget the birthday. And I hate to be in that house when you leave, but they, you can, you can ask. I mean, it's fun. You get to know them because what you're going to uncover some in here are some things to talk about where they were married, where their family's from, were they a veteran? You know, how long they've been married? You know, it's 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 very important there that you can do that to to really relate to people and to really get on their level. OK, so it's super important to do that. And I'm giving you if you don't go through this, you're missing some opportunities to really bond that relationship that bonds the policy that keeps it held together with glue. So you're going to have that policy and you get renewals on it forever and ever and ever. Okay, that's what we're trying to do. Father's name, her mother's name. And if you're talking to a single person or a, or a widowed person or whatever, tell them this. Who is your beneficiary going to be? Oh, my son or my daughter or whoever. Then do they know this information? Do they, do they, have, do they know this? Do they know, or are they going to have to find it? Are they going to have to dig it up when you pass away? Is this stuff that they're going to have to go locate? Well, you know, if you're a veteran, Oh my gosh, you know, all these things, because this is going to be important in your obituary. This is going to be important to the people you leave behind. When you get down here into the family information, I ask, you know, does your wife have brothers or sisters or mom or dad that are still alive? Cousins, aunts and uncles. Do you know their names? Oh yeah, I know their names. Do you know their addresses? No. Do you know their phone numbers? No. Okay, because guess what? These are things, again, that have to be obtained when someone passes away. What are you giving them? You're giving them a peace of mind. When you get on top of this, like a helicopter approach right here, and you look at all of this, these are things that are very important when someone passes away. And what I tell people, and I look them in the eye after I get through playing around with them, and I go, hey, will you fill this out? I say, I'm going to leave you one, Bill, and leave you one, Susie, okay? Now, when I leave today, I want you all to both fill it out for yourselves. Bill, you fill one out. I'm going to scoot over the middle. Bill, you fill one out. Susie, you fill one out to the best of your ability. You can even go down here and add some more things in here if y'all prefer. I mean, hey, listen, some people, when the significant other passes away, they argue over, oh, who's the pallbearer is going to be? Well, he liked this person more or they like this person more. Oh, no, they'd rather have Uncle Bill. You know, just little stuff like that. What color casket? What kind of casket? Just some basic things that you each person would like to see. And when they fill this out and I tell them this, right, and, and you can write this down and record this. I say, Mr. And Mrs. Jones, I understand there's some things obviously that, that need to be put down here. But, but what we find is that when most people complete these two pages, just these two pages, they have this burden that releases, they have this peace of mind and they can tell their loved ones or their kids or whatever, say, hey, listen, you know, we talked to our, our uh, family protector man, Keelan, and uh, he gave us these wonderful documents. And uh, we got a policy also, a small policy. That way y'all won't have to take care of it. It will be in the sock drawer. When something happens to us, you know, it'll all be there. And you know what, kids? We just wanted to give this to y'all to make sure that y'all didn't have to carry the burden because we love y'all and we want, we want to make sure that we don't leave y'all with some indebtedness or bills, or, or having to make the decision, well, mom would have liked to have this, but we can't afford it. Or dad would have liked to have had this, but we can't afford it. Because here's the thing, it is a celebration of life. 
He, at the end of life, it's a celebration. I know some cultures and some peoples do have parties and, and then, you know, and they celebrate. It is a celebration. So we want to make sure that those families have that. But when you leave this with them and I say, hey, y'all fill it out for yourself, Bill, Susie, and when, write this, write this word down, W-H-E-N, when I bring the policy back to y'all or when the policy is delivered, you'll have it all in one spot. You'll have it all in one spot. You'll have this. You'll have the policy. You'll have everything in one spot all together, and then it'll be taken care of. What did I just do? I'm, just, I'm still talking to the people about even writing a policy, but I pre-sold it again. I say when. When it comes back, you'll have all of this all in one spot because it's very important. Okay. Again, you'll probably go through this a lot slower than I'm doing it right now on training because I'm just trying to hit the high points for time purposes, but you'll probably go through this a little slower, you know, and find... And I'm not here, I want y'all to know, I'm not here to create a robot that looks just like Keelan because that would be horrible with a bunch of me, ugly me's running around on the earth. But I mean, literally, like, I'm not trying to create a, a sales robot that says whole life protection up to 35,000. Pause. A four, no, 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 no. All of y'all are different. All of y'all are professionals. Y'all been here and done that. You've got your own cultures. You've got your own people. You've got your own dialect. You got female, you got male. Do it the way you want to do it, but I'm just giving you some nuggets to use to maybe you can mold that nugget into your own presentation. Do it the way you want to do it because it's your business. I'm just giving you those, those, those nuggets to maybe use. And then I say this, you know, I found that when you get people, when you get people uh, involved in, 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 in talking with you, talking together, you get them involved. The, it makes it a lot better because they feel like they're giving themselves a presentation. And I ask them, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, can you read this out loud? And they do. Whole life protection up to 35000 affordable rates, protection that can never be reduced or canceled. And they read it out loud. And then I rock and roll right here. When, when this is done right here, I transition over to the funeral planning fact sheet. And it's right here. You can find that also. Remember on the supplies, the funeral planning fact sheet. Why do I transition over to the funeral planning fact sheet? Because here's the thing. When we do final expense, it's not just about the funeral. It's about the other costs and the things that are going to be involved other than just the funeral. OK, for example, and I transition. I don't even stop. I don't even ask him, oh, do you want a policy? No, I say, all right. So here's the thing. We know. In final expense, there are things that are going to have to be taken care of. For example, planning a funeral, especially when you find yourself in a difficult time of bereavement, can be a very daunting task. The list that follows contains some decisions that need to be made by every family for a funeral in just a matter of hours. And I want you to do some homework for me, please. And most of you probably won't, but if you will, this will be great. Gets, if, you don't, if you have one of these right now and you've done this drill exercise, then, you know, then great. But you pick out yourself as, as a professional, you know, and as an individual, five or 10 things that will cost money or time in addition to just the funeral. For example, I know ladies, you know, right here, these things, hairdressing, cosmetology, uh, you know, a display of flowers. You've got your limousine for the family, your limousine for the pallbearers, maybe graveside service that may cost extra right here. Okay, clothing, preparation for food, transportation, arrangements at hotels cost money. Okay, these are people to notify, bills to pay, cemetery, your, your headstone. That costs in addition. Doctor bills. Most of us, when we pass away, aren't going to pass away at our home. There's going to be doctor bills involved. I promise you. Okay, things that, things that take money. Okay. And then I say, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, we know, and I, I talk about, you know, but if you pick out five or 10 things, you, and then you hand this over to them and go, hey, look at these things right here. And I want you to pick out some of these things too. And you say this, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, the reason I am giving you this right here is that this is very important. This right here, along with your information right here, along with the funeral planning fact sheet, these two things are very good because 
when that day comes, and heaven forbid, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, y'all, something happens to y'all together, a tragic car accident or whatever, your kids are going to be distraught. And they need this stuff because they're going to have to be digging around for information and they don't, you don't want them to, have to do this. You want, it's tough enough as it is, but this gives them a guide. This gives them a guide as to these things that need to be, Oh yeah, we got to do this. Oh yeah. I didn't think about that. And it's just a guide. Where else are they going to get this on earth? If you don't give it to them and you say, Mr. And Mrs. Jones, you know, this is very important too, because this gives the people that are left behind a guide as to how to take care of this situation. It's very important, okay? And I want each one of you as agents, not as clients, to do this for yourself. I want you to please do this for you and your loved ones, you and your wife, husband, mom and dad. Ask them to fill this out. Just, it's free. It comes from the company. Fill one out. It will make you feel better. And then you can relay that feeling over to the people that you're talking about. And you can say, listen, I filled one out. And that, you know, it's all right there. I can change it anytime I want to. Uh, I've got my policy here. It's all in one spot. It's underneath that sock drawer, the stinky sock drawer, and uh, or in my in the safety deposit box or wherever. And it's taken care of. You release the burden because here's the wording right here, and it says it clear. Doing this now will take the stress off my family later on, and it's good to know all of it's taken care of. Okay. And that's what it is. It's about releasing that burden and giving them a shot at that. And then when you do that, once you go into the funeral planning fact sheet right here, I'm going to put the fact sheet or just fact sheet, okay, FS. And then you just don't even pause, okay? You don't pause at all. And you go right into talking to the clients and go, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, uh, tell me about your health. Tell me about your medications, okay? Tell me about what you're taking. And you pull out your... You pull out your, uh, your medications here and you go, tell me what you're taking and uh, tell me about your health a little bit because I want to get you all the correct rate. Uh, you're taking anything. Tell me about your medications. Tell me about your height and weight. And then I want to get you the right. Because here's it's most important that y'all can afford it. But it's also most important that we get the right coverage for you. Ten, twelve, fifteen thousand dollars because I want you to keep it forever. I want you to keep it forever. OK, because this is yours. And then I go right into the application. And we're not going to go into the application today uh, for time purposes. That's another another training. But again, just to kind of rehash here, you know, a little bit, build, set that stage early. Who are we? How much does it cost? How are you going to pay for it? You don't want to leave this to anybody else. Hey, everybody needs to know your information so they have it one day and your wishes. And here's the thing about it is we know there's other things to take care of, but I'm going to give you a guide. And when you finish all this up and you have your policy back with you, you're going to have a guide. You're going to have all this information. And what a blessing that your kids can pull this out and go, man, mom and dad thought enough of us. You know, even though they didn't leave us a mansion on the hill, but they left us without burden. They left us without that worry. And I really appreciate them. I know they couldn't afford a mansion on the hill. I know they didn't have much. They worked all their life for us. But at least they did this. It was worth 50 or $60 a month to them to take care of the family. So it almost brings tears to my eyes just thinking about that, you know, and that's why I'm uh, passionate. People can read passion, though. People can read passion. And people can read the, the smelly commission breath person, too. So, you know, and some of you, you know, some people in this business may not cannot get the passion for it. They just want to go sell something. But, you know, I strongly as you, you know, we get all older. Uh, find that passion because if you can talk to five people a day and protect two families a month, at the end of 2023, you've protected 24, 25, 26 families at the minimum. You know, you can lay your head on a pillow at night, I think, uh, versus just going out there and selling something. Instead of selling, we serve. We serve people. And then at the end of your conversation with them, you go down here and you underneath your supplies, you don't do this in front of them, but in your supplies, you go in here and you get underneath your general items. Uh, I'm sorry, under forms, under forms, write this down under forms. You get these right here. I want you, everybody today to order 15 or 20 of these. I don't care if the company calls me and say they ran out of them. This is the, this is your referral form. And this is a very important part of this. And, I, and I, as I'm wrapping up, I'll get my stuff and kind of, you know, fold it up and kind of thank y'all for, you know, for everything you've done. Uh, also, one other thing here is that 
I really, really appreciate you, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, because y'all have been great clients. And I've really enjoyed my time here visiting with y'all. I wish I could stay here all day long and visit. And uh, well, I've got to get on down the road. But here's the thing I'm going to ask from you. If you if you want to, if, if you'll answer a few questions, because he, in the industry, as an insurance person or any time, you want to solidify the sale. You want to make sure they're happy with you. You want to make sure you did a good job because the last thing you want is you walk out that door and you get a phone call from the home office five days later. Well, they, they decided to cancel their policy. They decided not to take it out. Three months later, yeah, they decided it wasn't worth it. You did not ask the questions and you did not solidify the sale. This is also a time maybe, you know, you can even, some people try to talk their way out of it. Like, you know, you know uh, just let me know. No, you got to solidify the sale and make sure they're happy. And here's how you do it. You say, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, did I make you feel comfortable? And you hand them this piece of paper for them to check yes or no. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, are you happy with the arrangements we put into place? Mr. and Mrs. Jones, did I answer all the questions? Mr. and Mrs. Jones, would you recommend me to friends and family? Oh yeah, Keelan, all the time. Perfect. Then if you don't mind, while I'm getting my stuff together here, write down a couple of two or three people that you think might be might be interested in listening to what I have to say. I won't bother them. I'm just going to tell them that I wrote policies for y'all and y'all said that they might want to hear something. You know, it's free of charge. I'd love to just come over, at least give one of these historical data, you know, booklets to them and let them fill it out. And so do you have is there anybody you can think of that, that, that would want this, want, want, want to visit with me? They're going to write it down. They're going to write it down every time they're going to write people's name down. And if they say, no, I don't know anybody, you probably didn't do a good job, okay? And you're going to maybe open up a few questions over here. Are you happy to answer all your questions? Maybe they got something they want to ask you. That's good because at least you can answer that. At least you know where you stand with them, okay? Referrals, 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 referrals. Listen, you've already talked to them long enough. You could nearly open a credit card with all their social and date of births and everything. They're going to give you some people you, that they know to work with, okay? on referrals, okay? So go through the presentation, print this off today, or you order you some today, write on it, scribble on it, practice it a couple, two or three times with someone, you know, transition into the funeral planning fact sheet, okay? Transition back over to the application and then finish up with a counselor evaluation form, okay? It's just a referral form. You can call it, you can call it a how did I do form. You can call it who do you know form. You can just call it wrap up, I don't care. Okay, just call it something and just have it because the last thing you want them to do is go, well, I'm going to tell them about Uncle Bill over there, but I don't, yeah, he may be too busy for Uncle Bill. No way, I'm not. Where is Uncle Bill? Okay, so be sure you use your tools, right? So I just wanted to bring that to you today. I've been nearly an hour long and I know everybody's attention span, everybody gets hungry and, and uh, I do too, but um, just presenting the product being passionate, serving people, five a day, build a pipeline, okay? Are you keep hearing me say two a month on goals? Yeah, I do believe that because I believe if you're doing the right thing and you're talking to the right people and you're in the final expense business, you should be able to write two policies a month, okay, two, two, two policies a month uh, just by talking to people and, and caring about people, okay? But yeah, I understand we go through stuff and you understand you've got Medicare season and I love Medicare people too. So you understand maybe you've got family and take off and get back on. But I really appreciate everybody that's been here and everybody that's coming back off the bench to play and to, to protect families because there's other carriers out there. There's other companies out there, but I, uh, we're still around and I'm still cranking at it. We're still doing trainings and still love you, still care about you. I even want to grow your people. I want to grow a, a group of your people. And, uh, and to spread the word and protect families. Because my goal, I've been here since 2016, insurance business for 23 years. And my goal is not about making money. My goal is not about fame and fortune. My goal is about the one family that we protect, the one funeral, the one kid that didn't have anything that mom and dad died early and they finally found a policy. The one person that thought they were gonna have to come up with the money, but they didn't. That's what drives me. And I want you to be on the front pew in that blue shirt, shaking their hand, hugging their neck and giving that money to them and make sure that they're taken care of. Cause that's what life's about. It's about protecting people, serving people. It's also about making money, which you can in this business. Okay. 
So anyways, loyalty plan, uh, we're, we're ramping up our lead store. We want to make it easier for you, better for you, uh, new opportunities for people to get licensed, approved, and I'm still here for you. So if you need anything, let me know. I care about every single one of you. Let's grow in 2023. If you need anything, let me know. And as I always say in Texas, adios. Gracias, adios. Adios.